Today I want to talk about body armor. I think the man of every house in America should own one set of body armor, if not more, for more members of the family. Body armor is cheap, it is maintenance free, it'll last a lifetime. You could even pass it down generations. You can find plate carriers on eBay for less than $100. Airsoft quality is sufficient for, you know, a one-time use. It's not something you should train in, uh, you know, but it would last one or two good rounds, at least the quality, you know. If you want to spend two or three hundred dollars, you can get a higher quality one. Uh, plates, I would suggest level three rifle plates. Uh, you can get a set for $150. And so, you know, $250 could possibly save your life one day, or someone else's. I think it's a wise decision. Uh, you know, it's something you can keep in the bedroom. It's got quick clips, usually, that you can just throw on and be ready to go in less than 10 seconds. I just think it's always better to have it and never need it than to need it and not have it. Uh, it could be the difference between life and death one day. You know, in medieval days, it was a sign of nobility if you had a set of a suit of armor. I've got a cheap one that stays in my bedroom. I call it my Red Dawn Rig. It's something, you know, you hear the air sirens going off parachutes coming down. You can have it on, be out the door in 10 seconds. It's got spare magazines for my rifle, my sidearm, my carbine. So whichever one you grab, you're ready. Whatever one you're closest to, you can pick it up and go. If not all of them. I eat, sleep, and bathe in the full armor of God, but sometimes a little man-made armor just fits the situation. I do all. It's a mindset.